Welcome back to week nine of Madden 18 Career Man. Thank you for tuning in. Uh, if you're not subscribed, make sure you subscribe to the channel and make sure you hit that thumbs up button as well. Uh, now we are going to face off against the Titans, but before we do that, let's go ahead and check over overall standings in our conference. Now you guys see the Steelers are first at six and two, and we're tied with the Browns, the lowly Browns, at four and four. Now looking over some of the news that went on so far as a team for us this season, you guys have been seeing, obviously we've had good games, we've had a lot of highlights, we've also had some downtime too. So we look to turn that around in this one here, facing off against the Titans in week nine. Hope you guys are ready for this one. Definitely going well so far in my rookie season. I'm looking to capitalize in this next game. This crowd here fired up for football as a moment ago their Titans were introduced. This should be a good one as the Titans get set to match up with the Baltimore Ravens. With Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. Charles, we Hell of an introductory there, but we're going to fast forward to the end of the first quarter. As you guys see, the Titans did end up getting a score. And right here, Joe Flacco tries to get it out to Jeremy Macklin, but just a little bit too much air underneath that one. Now third and 11, it's now the second quarter. On the block, Flacco sees Macklin on the left side. This time they connect, and he's gone for the touchdown right there. After first, you know, trying it the first time, it didn't work. Joe Flacco went back to it in the third and 11 situation and capitalized with a terrific pass to Jeremy Macklin. And what a reception and the speed to keep it going for the touchdown. Now the Titans ended up scoring again, so it's 7-13. to It's the second quarter still, so... Oh, no, we fumbled the ball. Oh, Cersei picks it up for the Titans. And with us being in our... Basically in our red zone, we turn over the ball there. That is not a good look. So the Titans ended up scoring, so now the score is 20-7. to This lead just for some reason keeps getting bigger and bigger. And right there, Joe Flacco goes down with a sack. So we ended up getting the first down. Now it's third and three on our 32. Flacco passes it down the middle to Mike Wallace, and he gets that first down. So we're going to try to get a score here. Third and two situation. Let's see if we can get it with the run here. And that defensive line for the Titans has been doing this same thing the whole entire way, uh, the whole entire game. They've been playing really well and really keeping me restricted as far as the running game. So now we're going to fast forward to the fourth quarter. You guys see the score. It's really ugly. 10 to 30. And right there, it's a pick by Williamson, the linebacker. And he runs that in for the pick six. Man, I don't even know where to start. I mean, that was just terrible execution by the offensive line and then a terrible decision by Joe Flacco. Um, but we've been really struggling as far as the passing game goes. I mean, he's been throwing at least one interception each and every game. And as you guys see, man, the score being 37 to 10, those obviously hurt us a lot. And they hurt our opportunities a lot. Now, right here, we're going to run the screenplay. Try to get something here. It's four minutes left. Maybe we can make a comeback. I break that tackle. Using my speed, as always, to the 10, the 5, and the touchdown. So it's now 16 to 37. Hopefully, we can turn this thing around. If we have enough time, it's still a 20-point game. With two minutes left, we get that first down right there. And I don't know if we have enough time, man. With the two-minute mark just being hit, I get the catch on the outside. I get tackled, but I do get the first down. It's about to be under a minute and 40 right now, and it's not looking good. Now, Joe Flacco in the pocket, and he gets taken down. He gets taken down for at least the fourth time this game, and that, I mean, it's really going to be hard for us to come back from this one. And another sack. So this defensive line, this Tennessee defensive line, has flat out just nearly ate up our offensive line. No pun intended at all. And for that, that's a big reason why we lost this game by 20. Now, looking at the stats, Flacco, 19-28. to 28, He had 294 yards, so he had a good game yard-wise. But that interception definitely hurt. It was an extra score. And he did end up having two touchdowns as well. Now, DeMarco Murray flat out just killed me as far as the running game goes. 42 attempts, 171 rushing yards. I only ended up with 15 and 36 yards. Now, even though I didn't have a good rushing game, I did have a good receiving game. Nine receptions, 
128 yards for a running back, obviously showing some of the skills that I have in the game. So now we are in week 10. We do have a bye week. So it's nothing to do but really just pretty much train and party. And we're going to fast forward to week 11. We're going to be facing off against the Green Bay Packers here. Uh, the season is winding down. And if we lose this one, man, it's going to be really hard for us to turn around this season. to Green Bay and this was the scene a few moments ago as the green and gold made their way out of the historic tunnel they're ready to go as they get set to match up with Joe Flacco and the Baltimore Ravens along with Charles Davis I'm Brandon God and you see me warming up here looking to have a, a sort of a bounce back game at least running wise um, since I didn't really deliver in the previous game I don't want to just say I've hit that rookie wall just yet, you know. Uh, I did get tackled right there in the first play. It's now 39. I get the catch, but it's before the fourth down, so we're gonna have to punt and out this drive. But I'm not, I'm not ready to, to to admit or say that I've hit the rookie wall yet. I feel like I still have a lot to offer. Still a lot I could bring to the table. And right there, Perriman, what a hell of a catch right there in traffic. And uh, I'm not ready to give up that. I think I still have a long ways to go. Bro. Oh, and I get cracked. Just as I was speaking about my rushing game, the defense forces the fumble. Luckily, I recovered it back. But I don't know what's been going on with me these last two, three games. Just have not been myself, especially the way I started out this season. We have to turn that around. Now, it's third and 14. Now, the score is 7-0. Flacco tries to get it to me, but he was being rushed right there by the defense. So that's a three and out. And the, as you guys see, man, the Green Bay Packers, a powerful offense as I'm carrying this defense, uh, ended up scoring the ball again, so it's 14-0 in the second quarter. Now, second and 11, good block as you guys see, man. You guys have been commenting saying you wanted to see or wanted me to show you guys at least my blocking skills and things like that. And that's a play right there showing you that I can also block, and I've been getting better at that as well. Now, right here, Joe Flacco has too much time in the pocket. He has no open looks, and he gets brought down. That's been a huge issue these last couple games. And right there with the juke, we get ourselves a first down. That's about a three, four yard game. But I've had 14 rushes this game and only three yards. So uh, I've definitely been struggling. And this Green Bay team definitely read a yeah. scout report. And as you guys see, Flacco throwing that pick. This Green Bay team had to have read or watched the mess out of some film because they know just about everything we're going to do. And they've been shutting it down, too. So with 14 seconds left, this game is pretty much over 31 to 3. And Perriman gets a long bomb right there. He'll run that for the touchdown. But it's a little bit, it's a little too late. You know, it's it's under 10 seconds left in this game now. And we obviously have no chance of coming back from a deficit like that. And uh we have to, I mean, at least we ended it on a good note with the touchdown, but not the way we wanted to head out. We end up going down 10 to 31, a beating, even though we did play away. You know, we and at least in the beginning of the season, we felt like we were a team that was going to compete with teams like Green Bay and the Patriots and the Raiders. And in this game, it just didn't look that way. And as you guys see, looking at the post-game stats, three rushing yards, that is just pathetic. I know ESPN has a lot to say about that. Breaking news from ESPN, and they think I've hit a brick wall. You know, they think I've maybe just ran out of luck or skill, whatever it is. They don't think I've been playing to my potential, and I certainly have in career low 14 or three rushing yards in the previous game, and uh, we got blown out 31 to 10. So with us being four and six, we got to turn this season around, and we got to bounce back. So this first season is wrapping up real quick right in week 11. Thank you guys for tuning in. Make sure you hit that thumbs up button and don't forget to subscribe as well. Next week, we're going to be in week 12, winding down the season. Can we make it to the playoffs? We'll find out in the next episode and as the series goes on. Thank you again for watching and your boy is signing out. Look, I got million dollar skins and billion dollar flows. Million dollar skins and billion dollar. I got million dollar skins and billion dollar flows. I put my heart in this world, cause that's just all that I know.